I bet she'd like to know how I got these scars. Hey there chameleons, it's Camille, and today I'm bringing you this Joker makeup look for Halloween. It's not your typical Joker because I wanted to do something different, so it's my take of a hotter and female version of the Joker. Now this is a collab video, so Lisette, Leah, Other Leah, Shay, and Kennedy all did awesome Halloween videos that you should definitely check out and all links are in the description box down below. So on to my Joker look. I started with a light foundation and I mixed some of this skin tone paint, uh, which is like really, really light. So it would lighten the light foundation even more, but not make me look like I'm just completely white. Um, I just wanted to go for more of a pale, washed out kind of base, but not completely white. So that's why I mixed the two light shades together. And I just applied that with my beauty blender sponge all over my face. I blocked out my lips because we are going to be drawing those on later, and I added some to my ears because you want to really blend it. I used glue stick to lay down my brow hairs because the Joker doesn't really have brows um, most of the time. Uh, there are a lot of different versions of the Joker, but he usually doesn't. So then I set that with some translucent powder and a fluffy brush just to keep it in place, and I covered over it with some of the same foundation mixture using my beauty blender. I also brought some of that down to my neck and my chin just to give it more of a seamless look and I used the sponge to blend all of that in and I brought it down a little bit to my chest which depending on what you wear you don't really need to do. Now I'm going in with a second layer of glue just so my brows will be more laid and powdering them to set it. I'm covering that over again with the foundation mixture just to block them out as much as possible and blending that into my face. Now I'm powdering my whole face using this e.l.f. setting powder, it's just the HD translucent one. It's white so it does give me a nice pale look once everything is all together. And now I'm contouring with my favorite contour shade and I'm really sculpting out my cheekbones because I feel like the Joker is kind of crazy and unhealthy and this gives you kind of a, an emaciated but still kind of hot look because it's like wow you're sculpted but oh you might be unhealthy so I decided to do that and just really carve out those cheekbones and add a little bit to my jawline and my temples and my chin. Now I'm also contouring my nose using the same shade and just a fluffy blending brush. And now I'm just blending that a little bit. I'm using this light shade to be my first transition color on the eyes. I'm bringing that all the way up to the brows and I'm just using this so it'll be easier to blend out the other colors later. I'm applying that on the bottom as well for the same reason. Now I'm going in with a slightly darker shade and I'm just building another layer that's going to transition into the dark color that I want to be the main thing. Now I'm going in with an even darker brown, same reason, kind of sculpting out a little bit more in the crease and the outer V and just really flicking that outwards. I'm also adding that to my lower lash line for the same reason. Now black is going to be the main color, so I used this NARS shadow and I started blending it in the crease with the same blending brush and flicking it outwards to make that V shape. I avoided the area in the center because I want that to be super black, so I'm using a NYX Jumbo Pencil and I'm just going to make a super dark layer with that and then blend that out with my finger. Now I'm going in with an eyeliner, just a black pencil, and I'm using it to tight line and line my water lines on both of my eyes just to make everything as dark as possible, and then I'm going to use it to line the lower lash line as well, and I'm smudging it out and setting it with the black shadow which I'm also going to use to set the NYX Jumbo Pencil on my lids so that doesn't go anywhere and so it looks as dark and black as possible. Yeah. Now I'm going in with a gold and I'm putting that on the inner corner and a little bit to highlight my cheekbones just to add more of the glam kind of beautiful look. Um, also bringing that down the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. 
Now I'm using a lip liner and I'm going to draw on my crazy lips. These lips, I want to be constantly smiling, but not anything too crazy like how the Joker is recently in the newest Batman series, but I just want it to be kind of flicked up a little bit. Um, Joker also be one of those people that be overlining their lips, trying to trick everyone thinking you have big lips, but that is not the case. You do not have big lips, so I'm just going to be overlining mine as well, getting that illusion. I'm going in with a lipstick on top of that. And then a lighter lipstick, this one's by Milk, and that's going in the middle. The outer one is Makeup Forever, and it just kind of gives it a nice fade. I'm using a darker Urban Decay lip liner, and I'm just going to add a little bit of a shadow to my lips, just at the bottom and then the top corners. And now I'm going in with a darker one to add even more dimension, and I'm just using that to line the bottom and kind of sharpen the outer edge. And this will just really give you more of a 3D mouth effect. Now I'm using some NYX glitter and adhesive, and I'm using a synthetic brush to apply the adhesive right underneath my eyes. This is going to hold the glitter in place, and it's not too hard to remove actually. I went in with the same brush and I patted the gold glitter underneath just to give it kind of like a crazy, maybe like a little bit of a clown effect, but still kind of a little bit more glamorous than the male joker would wear. Now I'm going in with some lashes and some lash glue and just glamming it up a little bit. It still looks creepy so don't worry. <laughs> and now we're taking out my hair. I had it braided in two French braids so that when I took it out I would have more of a wavy texture, kind of like how Heath Ledger had like greasy wavy green hair, so I figured that would be a better texture for it. And that's pretty much it for the look. It took a long time to do, but a short time to explain. <laughs> Other than that, you just put on something purple and a blazer, and you're good. You look, you look like a crazy, hot, but crazy joker, <laughs> ready to kill anyone. <laughs> I also have my septum piercing in, but you guys don't have to do that, obviously. But I really like this look because, well, I already had green hair, so obviously I had to do the Joker. But it's my own take and my own style. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have all my links in the description box down below, as well as the links to the lovely girls that I collabed with on this. Their videos are sick, so don't forget to check those out. And I will see you chameleons in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.